It's the realist. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your guy Realistic and welcome to my tutorial vault. That's right, I'm gonna start grabbing some of my most classic tutorials over the years out of the vault and re-releasing them. That way y'all can enjoy, get your mixing and mastering skills back up. So if you find any of the information useful, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. That way this keeps showing up in your feed and sit back and enjoy the content. So we're gonna talk about how to make these delay chains more interesting the first thing that I want to mention and point out in order to really execute these techniques to the best fullest advantage is you're going to want to go ahead and create your delays on an aux channel like a send and return. Usually delays and reverbs, time based effects should already be on an aux track but if you don't do that you definitely want to do that for this because we want these effects to uh, affect the actual delay and not so much the original source like I'm gonna throw this delay on a vocal channel and I don't want some of these effects to affect the lead vocal I just want it to affect the delay that's gonna be sweeping around in the background so if you want to know more about send and returns how to do them and why you should use them we do have a video on that and all you got to do is just click right here and you'll be able to watch that all right so I have the delay right here on this vocal channel channel and I got it routed so this is going to be the output of the delay and then also we'll pull up my delay right here you'll notice that I have things before the delay and after the delay so that's something that you also want to think about too when doing some of these effects sometimes you're going to want the effects to come before the delay and sometimes you want them after delay and that the reason why is because where it is on the chain impacts of how it's going to sound so if it's before the delay the signal is going to be affected and then it's going to delay or echo if we put it afterwards it's going to echo and then the signal is going to be affected so sometimes I might want the signal to already have the effect on it and then I want it to be delayed but then there's going to be other cases where I want the actual delay itself to have the effect because all the, like the repeats and the echoes I'm going to want to manipulate that and stuff so it will make more sense as we dive in but just some of those things are to keep in mind all right and then the other thing that I want to point out here is I got a bunch of things in this video that we're gonna be doing for delays you do not have to do all of these every single time on your delay so please don't think that this is what you have to do every single time you can use some of these you can use all of these sometimes you can use that trick sometimes you can use this trick but for the sake of this video I'm just gonna be piling on on a bunch of different effects on this particular delay channel so just take the ones that you want and some songs require them some songs don't all right so the first thing that I really like to do when it comes to delays is I like to do some pitch shifting sometimes and what that will do is it will create a different space and kind of like a different little frequency area for the delays so it doesn't seem so crowded they have their own space and it kind of just gives them a whole new movement and I'd really like to do that one before the actual delay that way it's being pitched up or down already beforehand so I'll show you what I talk about I'm gonna go ahead and hit play here this right here is a loop from the reckless waves pack that we have on soundoracle.net so if you're digging the loop you can check that out on soundoracle.net or you can watch a full review right here on that so let's check this out and you can hear what i'm talking about with this pitch here because i'm feeling dangerous I've been a whip, she know what my name is. Life is a blessing, I shot on my angels. Look at my neck, this shit is outrageous. I'm feeling dangerous. I've been a whip, she know what my name is. Life is a blessing, I shot on my angels. Look at my neck, this shit is outrageous. All right, and another thing that I like to do sometimes, not all the time, but it's kind of cool, is I like to actually automate the pitch sometimes, so that way the pitch is kind of going up and down and kind of has some movements and stuff like that. So I'll go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. I have an automation lane right here figured out on my Pro Tools. So what I'll do here is maybe I'll start and then I'll, I'll go lower and then we'll work our way up and we'll go higher. And then you can kind of hear how it kind of just will automate and go up and down in pitch. And that's kind of cool too sometimes. It gives a really cool effect. Well, yo, cause I'm feeling dangerous. I've 
popping no whip, she know what my name is. Life is a blessing, I shout out my angels. Look at my neck, this shit is outrageous. She wanna be famous, I'm feeling dangerous. Right, kind of a cool thing just to be able to give your delays a little bit of movement and stuff. And then sometimes, too, what I'll do is I'll throw on some auto-tune before the delay, too, just to kind of give it more like a, a robotic kind of tune feel in the background. So we'll just do a quick little clip of that. Check it out. Hopping a whip, she know what my name is. Life is a blessing, I shout out my angels. Look at my neck, this shit is outrageous. She wanna be famous, and then, too, another thing to keep in mind when you're dealing with a, a, a pitch shifter, the auto-tune may help as well just because you are going to be alternating the, the pitch quite a bit, so it might help just to have something that will help you lock those pitches in a little bit. And then sometimes, too, you can uh, mute the pitch shifter and just have the auto-tune. I'm feeling dangerous. I'm feeling Popping a whip, she know what my name is. Life is a blessing, I shout out my angels. So that's kind of a, a cool technique too. All right, and then too, we have inside of our our uh, delay here, a lot of them have some little options and stuff that you can do. I like to add some low and high cut filters, and the reason why I like to do that is just so there there's some filtering going on, so it, it kind of will take some highs and lows out, and again, it will tuck it into its own little space. It will give it its own little spot in the frequency spectrum. So I'll show you without the filters. Feeling dangerous. Popping a whip, she know what my name is. Life is a blessing, I shout out my angels. Look at my neck, this shit is outrageous. So you can see right there with the filters, it just kind of added a, a little bit better space there, especially cutting out some of these lows here. And then, too, another thing that I got going on is I'm pumping up the saturation a little bit you don't always have to do that but it'd be kind of cool to saturate things sometimes i like to pump up the input and clip the input a little bit and then i'll lower the output just to kind of drive it a little bit so let's check that out feeling dangerous popping a whip she know what my name is life is a blessing i shout out my angels just gives it kind of a, a cool little feel right there uh, of being able to distort it a little bit all right, and then sometimes what I'll do is I'll I'll filter again afterwards because I want the actual delay to be filtered. But you know sometimes you know we already got our filter going on inside the Echo Boy. But the reason why I might want to do this is for another technique, and I'm actually gonna show you that. This is a scary technique, so you really gotta be careful with this one and be really cautious. So what we're gonna do, believe it or not, is we're actually going to send the delay to the delay. You want to turn this down right away right and then slowly work your way up this can be dangerous because what happens is if you increase it too much we're gonna get ourselves into a really bad feedback loop and we could damage our hearing so you want to be really really cautious with this technique but it's something that a lot of pros use and I like it and that's where this filtering thing can come really come in handy because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be sending the delay back to the delay so what's going to happen is every time the delay echoes it's going to run back into itself and then what it's going to do is it's going to filter again over time and time so each time that it's it's ran through so let's say that we have five repeats well the first one is going to get this filter right and then the second time it repeats it's going to have this filter but then the filter is going to be applied again so it's going to be more filtered and then the third time it's going to be applied for a third time so the third filter is going to be even more filtered so what happens with this technique is it feels like it's being more filtered each time and that's exactly what's happening so over time it's being filtered more and more so let's check this out again let's be careful feeling dangerous Popping a whip, she know what my name is. Life is a blessing, I shout out my angels. Look at my neck, this shit is outrageous. I'm feeling dangerous. Popping a whip, she know what my name is. Life is a blessing, I shout out my angels. Look at 
So you can see what we're doing right there, how it filters more and more each time. Again, be really careful with that technique, but it is something that a lot of pros have been using for a lot of years. All right, so another thing that I like to do sometimes is I like to throw a, a compressor on here. And what I like to do with the compressor is I actually like to throw on a little side chain action from the lead vocal. And then what I would do here is instead of automating the delay, because you could tell how I have my delay where it's just coming on to certain words or phrases here and it's not going on through the whole thing. But sometimes what I'll do is I'll remove that and I'll have the delay going on the entire time here, right? And what I like to do is I like to sidechain compress the delay so when the vocal itself is actually going on, the delay is being compressed down and then when the vocal stops, then the delay pops up. So let's go ahead and check that out here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Well, yo, cause I'm feeling dangerous. I'm feeling I've been a whip, she know what my name is. Life is a blessing, I shout out my angels. Look at my neck, this shit is outrageous. I'm feeling dangerous. I'm on a run. a whip, she know what my name is. So you can see what was going on right there is every single time that the lead vocal was playing, we crushed it down, and then as soon as the lead vocal stopped, the delay popped right back up. So that can be a cool technique sometimes to use. I like that sometimes when I'm really trying to create like like a, a, a really consistent movement going on uh, an example that i can think of of like a, a famous song was it was that little wayne and drake song she will from like 2012 or 13 or something like that they did that effect in the background and it was a, a really cool thing because it just felt like little wayne was kind of everywhere but the delay didn't have to keep fighting with the the lead vocal so it was a really cool thing to do all right so then another thing uh, I know we already had some saturation in the actual Echo Boy here, but something else that you can do sometimes is you can add on some more aggressive saturation uh, right onto the delay here. And this one, I might actually want to use something different than Decapitator. And I was thinking about it, maybe something like Saturn or something. Maybe give it like a screaming distortion. Let's check that out. Well, yo, cause I'm feeling dangerous. I've been a whip, she know what my name is Life is a blessing, I shout out my angels Look at my neck, this shit is outrageous I'm feeling dangerous I've been a whip, she know what my name is So again, kind of a cool effect that's going on right there when we have a, a little bit of distortion going on after delay. All right, here's one of my new favorite things. Add in some type of filtering system here. I really like the filter freak here because what it's doing here is it's doing like some automated filtering. And this is, this is a really cool effect. I think a lot of people are going to like this because what it's going to do is it's going to give your, your delays some constant movement and, and constant sweep. So they're really going to feel like they're evolving and moving. It's really cool. Let's check it out. Yo, cause I'm feeling dangerous. I'm feeling, I've been a whip, she know what my name is. Life is a blessing, I shout out my angels. Look at my neck, this shit is outrageous. I'm feeling dangerous. So you can hear right there on this particular one, we got it starting high and then we got it going low. So the, the delays are constantly sweeping and stuff. But, you know, you can you can automate these like we could switch these around a little bit. So they're doing quite the opposite here. So we could have them start from low to high. I'm feeling dangerous. Hop in a whip, she know what my name is. Life is a blessing, I shout out my angels. Look at my neck, this shit is outrageous. I'm feeling dangerous. I'm on a run. a whip, she know what my name is. Again, we can just kind of see some of that movement that's going on right there. It's a, a cool effect. I like uh, using some type of uh, a sweep or something like that. All right, so then another one is adding an auto panner. I'm going to stop you right there because I know a lot of people are going to say, why not use ping pong delay? And I'm going to tell you why for this particular trick it's different than ping pong delay. When we're dealing with ping pong delay, it's going to do 
you know, one doing left and then one doing right. And it's usually going to stay locked in with these notes. And it's going to usually stick with the same stereo field. We won't be able to control the width of it. On this particular one, you can see I already used the ping pong delay, which is really cool to have it bounce back and forth. But sometimes, let's go ahead and remove the ping pong delay. And we'll do an auto panner. And see with this, you can see that I can control the width of it. This I can control if I want it to be just a little bit pan left and right. I can go full wide here. I can also control if I want it to be rushed or dragged a little bit. Uh, what I can do is instead of a note value, I can do something else here. Like I can set up for like an LFO or something and go with more like a, a like a rate or something. That way it kind of has more of evolving and, and just like surrounding feel. So let's check that out and show you what that sounds like. Yeah, Cause I'm feeling dangerous. I'm feeling dangerous. Popping a wave, she know what my name is. Life is a blessing, I shout out my angels. Look at my neck, this shit is outrageous. And then we can also, again, do the rhythm step, which is cool. I'm feeling dangerous. Hop in a whip, she know what my name is. Life is a blessing, I shout out my angels. Look at my neck, this shit is outrageous. So again, you can just add different types of movements to it, which is really kind of cool to be able to do that. So sometimes I do like to use an auto panner instead of the ping pong delay because it just gives me a little bit more control. I can also control the, the smoothing if I want this just to be hard left and right. I'm feeling dangerous. Or I can have it to be more of a, a smooth feeling so it constantly just feels like it's just swirling and wrapping around us. I'm feeling dangerous. Hop in a whip, she know what my name is. Life is a All right, and then uh, another little trick here that we can do is we can add some reverb on it. Sometimes I like to do this just as, as a send, so already taking the reverb that's in there and then sending it the delay to that reverb. So then our, our, rev our delay has a, a little bit more space and depth to it. So let's check that out. I'm feeling dangerous. Hop in a whip, she know what my name is. Life is a blessing, I shout out my angels. Look at my neck, this shit is outrageous. She wanna be famous. I'm feeling dangerous. I'm on a run. Hopping a whip, she know what my name is. She wanna get some. Life is a blessing. So yeah, right there you can see and hear that we have a, a little bit of space and depth to it. Some other things that you could do is add some cool little stereo tools to your, your delay to make it more interesting. So let me go ahead and show you what I'm talking about with that. Like micro shift or some of those waves like doubler or imager is really kind of cool. I'm feeling dangerous. Hop in a whip, she know what my name is. Life is a blessing, I shout out my angels. Look at my yeah, cause I'm feeling dangerous. I'm feeling Hop in a whip, she know what my name is. She know my Life is a blessing, I shout out my angels. I shout out my Look at my neck, this shit is outrageous. She wanna be famous. See how that gave that uh, a little bit different of a, a space and depth like that. So really, you could just think of all different types of creative effects. Those are just a couple of them. Those are some of my favorite ones that I like to do right there. and Just kind of gives you a little bit more tricks for the bag right there. So yeah, hopefully you got some use out of this video. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this tutorial. If you found it useful, be sure to like and subscribe because it does help the channel grow. When you like a video, it tells YouTube that you liked it and maybe other people will like it as well. And also be sure to check out my online mixing and mastering courses, the art of beat mixing, the art of vocal mixing, and the art of mastering all available now. And if this video was helpful and you're looking for other videos, you can watch a video here, here, and here. All right, until next time, y'all.